Hello and welcome to Mathematical Coaching Center. Today in this video, we'll be discussing about the very concept of limit. But before we start, my name is Umang Khawas and if you have any problem in learning mathematics, then consider subscribing this channel. So without any further delay, let's begin our lesson. So let us see the function that is defined as fx is equals to 2x plus 5. And we are to find the value of fx at x equals to 2. So how do we find the value of fx at x equals to 2? Okay, so we'll just replace the variable x by the value 2. Okay, so it will be something like this. So fx is equals to 2x plus 5. So the value, the variable x is being replaced with the value 2. So this will be 4 and 2 into 2 is 4 plus 5 and that will give us 9. So, what is the value? Therefore, the value of fx at x equals 2, that is, fx f2 is equals to 9. So, what is the value of fx at x equals 2? It is 9. So, this is how we find the value of fx at x equals to 2. So, let us do the same thing with the function fx defined as x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2. Okay, we need to find the value of fx at x equals to 2. Here also, what we will do is we will replace the value variable x by the number 2. So what do we get? f2 is equals to 2 square minus 4. Okay, 2 minus 2. So that will give us 4 minus 4. That will give us 0 by 0. This is indeterminate. Okay, which is undefined. 0 by 0 is undefined. So we have a problem that the value of fx at x equals to 2 is coming out to be 0 by 0. So the value does not exist at x equals to 2. So we have a problem here. So the value does not exist at x equals to 2. So now what we will do is, what we will do is, we'll see the value at x equals to 2.1. Okay. So this is a va value that is close to 2. We know that it does not exist for 2. But let's see what happens when we take a value close to that is 2.1. I am taking a value 2.1. So same thing. Here we will replace the variable x by the value 2.1. So we will get 2.1 square minus 4 divided by 2.1 minus 2. So this will be equal to 2.1 square is 4.41 is minus 4 divided by 2.1 minus 2. And it will give us 0 0.41, 0 0.1 taking decimal. So we have 4.1. So this is the value of fx at x equals to 2.1 and it is not undefined okay here it is defined and it is 4.1 now these are the few values that i have taken out okay at x equals to 2.1 when we put the value of x to be 2.1 the value of fx was 4.1 okay similarly when you put the values of fx as 2.01 it will give 4.01 2.001 it will give 4.001 2.0001 you'll get 4.001 and when you put x is equals 2.00001 you'll get 4.0001 here we are taking values that are very close to 2 okay so you can check uh, whether the values are correct or not with the help of the calculator so moving on let's see the same thing when we take a value at x equals to 1.9 okay in uh, previously we took the value of x to be 2.1 that was also close to 2 but that was greater than 2 okay here we are taking 1.9 that is close to 2 but that is less than 2 so very close to 2 so same thing here also will replace the variable x with 1.9 so you will get 1. 9 square minus 4 divided 1.9 minus 2 so that will give us 3.61 minus 4 divided by 1.9 minus 2 so this is something you'll get and after that cancelling the negative sign and taking decimal to this side you'll get the value to be 3.1 so this is the value of fx when you take x is equal to 1.9 okay so these are the few values that I've taken out uh, using the points uh, 1.9, 1.99, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, 
1.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
if we are on the left hand side of 2 that means it is the values like 1.9 1.99 and all of this values okay lesser than 2 okay this negative sign here only means that it is from the left hand side so limit x tends to 2 minus fx is equals to l h l and what do you mean by l h l it is left hand limit okay it means it is left hand limit so left hand limit is written as limit x tends to 2 minus fx this is known as left hand limit so same thing how do we express this mathematically as x tends to 2 from right hand side we will write as limit x tends to 2 plus fx okay so limit x tends to 2 plus fx it is written in this way and this is right hand limit this is known as right hand limit okay because it is from the right hand side and again this plus here the positive sign that we have only means that it is the value that is greater than 2 from the right hand side all the values that are on to the right hand side of 2 that is value greater than 2 all these values that is greater than 2 okay so in both the cases fx was tending towards 4 so we'll write this to be equals to 4 okay limit x tends to minus fx is equals to 4 so how do we express this mathematically we'll write limit x tends to 2 minus fx is equals to 4 okay that means as x tends to 2 minus fx will go towards 4 okay and now how do we express this as x tends to 2 from the right hand side fx then fx uh, tends to 4 we'll write by writing we'll write limit x tends to 2 plus fx is equals to 4 this is what we will write mathematically okay so right hand side means 2 plus and left hand side it means 2 minus and both the values is tending towards 4 both the values is tending towards for the value of fx is going towards 4 okay now finally what we have is left hand limit that is limit x tends to 2 minus fx is equals to 4 and right hand limit that is limit x tends to 2 plus fx is equals to 4 okay so these are the things that we got from the data the if now if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit here we are getting that left hand limit is equal to right hand limit it is not always possible to get left hand limit is equal to right hand limit okay it the value may be different but if it is equal if the left hand limit and the right hand limit is equal then what do we say we say the limit exists we say that the limit exists and limit will write it to be limit exchanged to fx is equals to 4 so this is what we write if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Here there is no 2 plus and 2 minus because it means that from if either it is tending or from the right hand side or it is tending towards from the left hand side. It doesn't matter if the value will always be equal to 4. Okay. And this we can only write when left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. That is, it is same as writing limit x tends to 2. What is the value of fx? x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 is equals to 4. Now let us understand this. We started by putting the value x equals to 2. Okay. We started by putting the value of x as equal to 2. But at that point, we got the values to be undefined. Okay. The values was undefined. We are getting 0 by 0. But now, by the concept of limit, what we can say is that as x tends to 2, that means when x is going very, 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 very close to 2, the function that is x square minus 4, x minus 2 will be going towards 4. Yes, the function is undefined at x equals to 2, but we can conclude that when x goes very, very close to 2, the value of x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 goes very very close to 4 okay that the value was tending towards 4 okay but sometimes if we get left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit if we get left hand limit not equals to right hand limit then what can we say 
we say that the limit does not exist. In this case, the limit does not exist. If left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit, then we say limit does not exist. So for a limit to exist, the left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit. Okay. So moving on, and let's see this. Um, let fx is equal to 2x, uh, 2x plus 5. So let us try and find out the value of limit x tends to 2 fx. Okay. Uh, you can uh, use the same process by taking 2.1, 2.01 different values of x as 2.1, 2.01, 2.001 2 and the lesser value as 1.9, 1.99 and so on. And whatever answer you get, you can comment in the comment section below. Okay, in the next video, we'll try to work on, on different rules and formulas with few solved examples, okay? So actually, the process that we have seen here, this is not exactly the way to work on a problem. There are different rules and formulas through which we can work on a limit problem, okay? So we'll try to see that in the next video. I hope that this uh, video is helpful. To stay updated with our uploads, uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching and have a